the Supreme Court proving third time's a charm, vindicating President Donald Trump upholding the third version of his travel ban. A tremendous success, a tremendous victory for the American people. It's been a long road for the president. His first ban, issued just a week after he took office, was almost immediately blocked by lower courts. The second version, two months later, had the same fate. But the high court decided to take up the third order from September 2017, barring citizens from five majority Muslim countries plus Venezuela and North Korea. The 5-4 decision along partisan lines came down on the side of Trump. This marks a major Supreme Court victory for the administration as the court's term comes to a close this week. It's also another sign of the impact of Justice Neil Gorsuch, who Trump nominated to the high court in January 2017. The president reacting on Twitter and in a meeting with GOP leadership, saying he will continue to defend the safety and security of the American people. The majority inside of the court may have sided with the president, but outside it was a different story. Today's decision isn't a surprise. The Supreme Court has been wrong before. It was wrong when it upheld Japanese internment, and it was wrong when it upheld Jim Crow and other discriminatory policies in our past. Today's decision, though it's not a surprise, is a sad day for Muslims in America and Muslims around the world and for American citizens. This is not uh, the country that we aspire to be, a country that aspires to treat all people equally regardless of their religion or their national background. Bilal Askariar is a Muslim American. He says he feels the same way he did the day after the election, like his country doesn't see him as equal. He also worries that the president will add new countries to the list. The Supreme Court has emboldened him to go farther. This is dangerous and scary for all Americans, not just Muslims. Farhana Kara is the executive director for Muslim Advocates. She not only agrees with Bilal, but says the recent Supreme Court rulings show a bias against Muslims. It's particularly outrageous is just a few weeks ago, this same court went out of its way to protect the religious beliefs of a Christian baker. Today, this court, in the face of mounds of evidence that the president engaged in anti-Muslim bigotry, decided to turn a blind eye to that bigotry. Upholding this ban, she says, will impact the daily lives of millions of Muslims, not only in the United States, but around the world. Those families now are going to be separated from their family members who may simply be wanting to come to the United States to attend a wedding, attend a graduation, a funeral, visit their family members, tend to the sick they will not be able to be reunited with their family members. Justice Sonia Sotomayor, in a blistering dissent, agreed. In the same ruling, the Supreme Court overturned the constitutionality of the Japanese internment camps. Sotomayor says this decision merely replaces one gravely wrong decision with another. Chief Justice John Roberts, who authored the majority opinion, disagreed, saying it had nothing to do with this case. He did, however, touch on one of the bigger issues. Now, part of what made this case so interesting was the justices had to decide whether statements made by then-candidate Donald Trump were admissible and whether his tweets were as well. The chief justice wrote, the issue before us is not whether to denounce the statements. It is instead the significance of those statements in reviewing a presidential directive neutral on its face, addressing a matter within the core of executive responsibility. In doing so, he wrote, we must consider not only the statements of a particular president, but also the authority of the president itself. Roberts also seemingly reminded the president of his extraordinary power in communicating with and for his fellow citizens. He wrote national security issues were a justification for the ruling. This decision now gives the president broad authority over regulating immigration.